Let's go to this other issue, Human Rights Commission. It's extraordinary what happened in Canberra today, but I haven't uh, seen it elsewhere reported very much, but you should know about it. Appalling financial mismanagement, I have to say, at the all-powerful Human Rights Commission that's resulted in a huge budget blowout. Have a look at this exchange between Senator Sarah Henderson and the President of the Human Rights Commission, Professor Rosalind Croucher. We are needing to reduce our staffing because we have had this intense scrutiny on what we can afford. Clearly, we didn't pay that scrutiny before because mm. we were spending too much on employees. Mm. Now we so have you've hired staff, we you've hired too many staff for your budget, and now you are being placed in a position where you are going to have to make some staff redundant. Indeed. D so due to this Commission's financial mismanagement. The, in order... That's correct, isn't it, um, We are, because we Professor, have... Professor? Yes. Do you apologise? Absolutely. What, what is your annual salary, um, Professor? I can't tell you the specific number off the top of my head. To I, close to half a million dollars a year? Yes, it is. Half a million dollars a year and you can't recall how much you earn, goodness me. Senator Henderson joins me now from Canberra. Um, tell us how this can happen. I mean, taxpayers are paying for this. We're only hearing about this uh, row because you were pretty dogged today in estimates. Everyone's focused on this imminent election. Pretty extraordinary. Well, Peter, good evening. And yes, some really extraordinary rev revelations in Senate estimates today. Uh, really, uh, the president of the Human Rights Commission, Ros Croucher, admitted a very, very serious uh, financial mismanagement. Uh, things like not running proper forecasting, not really understanding what the Commission was spending, uh, obviously spending more than they have in their budget, despite the fact that the Commission has received a 22% increase in their funding uh, since 13-14. So absolutely extraordinary. And then, of course, uh, you saw uh, the exchange where the president doesn't know how much she is earning. I did put it to her that she should have the appropriate skills to know how to uh, understand what the commission is spending. Uh, it's been a, a shocking day for the commission, quite frankly, Peter. This is the Human Rights Commission, of course, that relentlessly attacks conservatives of issues like border protection. I know all too well about that from my time in government. If it can't run itself, why do we let them try and influence and run us? Well, this is a very dark day. And despite the fact that the government stepped in in December last year in my UFO, uh, basically provided an extra, an extra $16 million uh, after it incurred a loss of some $10 million. Now, I put it to the President today that if the Human Rights Commission was a company, um, that would be a breach of director's duties and potentially unlawful. So it's a very dark day and it shows gross mismanagement and, frankly, mm. I did put to the President that perhaps uh, she might want to consider her future in running the Commission today. Well, we'll see what happens with that, Sarah Henderson. Good luck for the coming election. I fear you'll be on the hustings pretty shortly, although you're in the Senate this time, not in a marginal seat, but I know you're watching them closely. Yeah. Thank you for your time.